Dr. Feldman, are you ready? I am. Thank you so very much for joining me here on the Valder BB Show. Did you bring a guest? I did, in fact. Okay. Well, we get firsthand information. But first of all, we want to talk to you as the doctor, Dr. Matthew Feldman. We're talking allergies and asthma. Is this a 24, uh, uh, 24 uh, I'm sorry, is this all-year problem or is it a seasonal problem? Well, it varies from patient to patient. Um, every story is different for every patient. Um, asthma can show up from a symptom standpoint uh, via cough or wheezing symptoms, shortness of breath, tightness. And there may be seasonal allergens that are underlying triggers. There may be air pollution, viral infections, exercise. There's an array of different triggers, some of which uh, overlap uh, and are present in, in, in a patient in multiple situations. And, and in others, it may be just one or two triggers. But what underlies many of these triggers in about 70% of patients is a systemic inflammation called type 2 inflammation. I'm hearing more and more about inflammation in different types of uh, conditions are we just finding this out or or doctors just telling us this now? Well, that's a great question. And that's why I'm here uh, to talk with you in conjunction and partnership with Regeneron and Sanofi uh, to raise awareness about moderate to severe asthma. Our understanding about type 2 inflammation is is new. And what we know today is very different than five years ago. What we know is 900,000 people in the United States may have moderate to severe asthma that's not well controlled. And we understand that type 2 inflammation uh, signature in some of these patients may be quite relevant. And that's, that's very new compared to even a few years ago. Let me talk to my allergy sufferer that you brought uh, with you so he can tell us from a perspective of how it is to live with this. Sure. Um, so I'm sorry, he, I should say she. Oh, that's okay. It's a boy name. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I think I probably had asthma all my life. I just didn't realize it. Um, I thought it takes me a long time to get over colds. I cough a lot. I would joke that I was allergic to the outdoors. Um, and, you know, I just thought hardcore allergies and, and a cough. It, to me, that didn't really mean asthma, though, um, until... I was in my late 20s and I started waking up at night coughing and for hours at a time I would be awake with this cough and that's when I really realized I had to be a better healthcare advocate for myself. Um, so I went to a pulmonologist who referred me to an asthma specialist and that's really when I got diagnosed with asthma and that diagnosis then led to treatment plans that really shifted my quality of life. Um, and so the interesting thing to me is that now 10 years down the road, I'm on a completely different treatment plan because there's been so much progress. And um, so I'm here just to advocate for being your own healthcare advocate, knowing that you have value and you should go talk to your doctor, tell your whole story, and then um, work on a better treatment plan. Well, I can't think of a better advocate for someone who has actually walked the walk. Thank you for sharing with me. Sure thing. Dr. Feldman, May is National Asthma and Allergy Awareness Month. What is the key thing you want my audience to be able to take away from this? Well, I hope that your audience goes and takes that step that Cody was talking about. Talk to your doctor, be an advocate for yourself, and enter into a relationship that values shared decision-making. Not everybody's story is the same. Uh, and, and when you come to your doctor with uh, your history, not just of what's going on that day, but a story about kind of where you've been and where you'd like to go and what your goals are, you can find the right treatment approach that fits with, uh, with your goals and expectations. Um, so I encourage people, go talk to your doctor. And, uh, and if you're not getting all the answers, then you may need to be referred to an asthma specialist. But start with that first step to talk to your doctor and, and, and go from there. Dr. Feldman is local for you people who are listening in Dallas, Texas. He's with the Dallas Allergy and Asthma Center, one of the greatest places I heard to be treated for these kind of conditions. Dr. Feldman, I want to thank you so much. I want to thank your guests for coming with you to talk about this, and hopefully we will remember that May is National Asthma and Allergy Awareness Month and do some self-care. Thank you very much. Thank you, and I encourage the listeners, go to optionforasthma.com if they want to learn more about one particular new treatment that may be available for them and may be right for them. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. Thank you both.